Hello from Kenya and my role was mainly from the onset of the project we developed together the concept um, after GDN had commissioned the Southern Sub-Saharan African team we developed together the concept and then we worked on developing the idea the proposal the concept note and also eventually doing the research finding itself the systematic review and consolidating all the different works that we found. Mm. And what was one of the for you what was one of the key findings of the research? Um, I think for me one of the key findings as well as something that was very interesting is that smallholder commercialization or Akacha commercialization in Africa is taking place and the subcontinent or the region is becoming very commercialized but because smallholder farmers have pre-existing bottlenecks you know economic socio-economic factors environment politics they're not able to be included in those high value supply chains so I think as governments work to improve commercialization because the assumption is that if you commercialize you become developed and therefore you reduce poverty for me the key issue was that it's not necessarily true for smallholder farmers because as the commercializing as the sector becomes more commercialized the smallholder farmers may not be able to actually take participate and take part so they may still remain poor although the country itself is growing yeah in your presentation you talked a little bit about um, missing out the middleman mm -hmm. and, and getting mm -hmm. the smallholder farmer into the process mm -hmm. Can you just tell me a little bit about what you think the solution is um, I think the key solution is trying to link farmers directly to markets because I think that someone in the conference today said farmers in Africa have access to markets but what they don't have access to is high prices. So the reason is there's the middleman, he comes and he buys at very low margins but he sells at a better market, she sells at a better market. So the smallholder farmers are cut out from actually accessing the higher markets. So what we need to do is to link farmers directly to lucrative markets. The problem with that becomes that the smallholder farmers often are unable to meet stringent conditions for high value markets and um, such as urban markets they have strict conditions uh, so a tomato should be this size, it should be this big. They're not really able to do that. So what we need perhaps is greater government involvement but also private sector investment to improve not only farmers participation when they reach the market but also to improve their production their capacity to produce to meet the standards of the market okay, yeah. final question mm. uh, can you just describe um, your feelings about the experience of working on this GDM project what's your one big takeaway from it? Um, I think my one big takeaway is that it is possible to work with a group of researchers that you have never met in Africa and still produce you know, something at output. I think a lot of focus now, especially in government and a lot of civil servants, is the need to meet. So a lot of the funds that we get for research, sometimes they end up going into costs that are associated with meeting and transport and travel and less into doing the actual work and the research and the analysis. But I've seen from this particular work that we can have a virtual platform and maybe that's also due to ICT technologies because some of the researchers that I worked with, I have never met them. Two of them, they are co-authors on this paper and we have been communicating for over a year you know and we've got this paper out and it came out and I see their name I recognize the name but I have never met them but we were able to put together this piece of work and I think that's that was good for GDN it's it's something that they did instead of spending a lot of money and trying to bring us together because sitting in the same room for a day but spending a lot of money is less effective than us communicating over email for over a year and actually producing something that's beneficial